Um, so we're here spraying a uh, dog strangling vine today. Uh, we're using um, Roundup Weather Max, um, partly because the weather has been adverse, but also because we're finding it is uh, really effective at knocking back advanced populations of this particular plant. The reason we're doing this is we've got a number of landowners who have red pine plantations, which will be thinned uh, in August, it's July now, and we're worried that the increased sunlight that we'll be getting into these thin plantations will allow that dog strangling vine to pro proliferate. So the plan is to knock it back here today and over the coming days in anticipation of that logging activity. Typically what we like to do in a season is get two treatments in um, on it uh, a, a week or so apart. Usually two seasons of treatments enough to get it to a point where uh, a landowner can handle it themselves. It's amazing how it can thrive in such a shaded environment, right? I mean, it like nothing else can even stand a chance. And in an area like this, what's well, not like ideal forest, but you might expect to see, you know, some, some other nicer stuff going, growing in there. But as it stands, it's like pure dog strangling vines. Um, this is the key period in time to try to get your first treatment of spray on the plant because it's vulnerable at this stage. Like you can see um, where the dog strangling vine is nodding over and that's where it's been treated about 10 days ago. So it's starting to show that it's working, which is good. And then over here, you've got area that has been treated, you know, 13 months ago, approximately. It is looking good and dead, which is what we want. Um, obviously this takes some time to get it to this point, but this is just a moment in time. And what we can expect to see shortly after treatment is an improvement in biodiversity. What we want to promote on these forested landscapes are things like black walnut, sugar maple, and basswood, as well as native shrubs and other plants essential to ecosystem function. The targeted application of herbicide is a tool to rehabilitating these ecosystems. And glyphosate, the active ingredient being applied, breaks down into common elements and simple inorganic compounds that are not toxic. The ecosystem post-treatment is a place where restoration can occur and ultimately a return to balance can happen.